It's official. Bananas are the most popular fruit in the UK, and we scoffed almost one billion of them last year. But unlike apples or pears, we import our bananas from far off places. Here in Costa Rica, this plantation is the size of 324 football pitches. The workers use a pulley system to get themselves around. It's meant to transport the fruit, but catching a lift saves them from walking. Modern bananas are sterile, so each new plant must be taken from an old cutting. This is pretty tough work as the plants can grow several meters tall. If the workers didn't replant each year, the plantation would stop producing. Once the fruit begins to emerge, the plants must be pruned. The large purple flowers at the base divert energy that will produce bigger, tastier bananas, so the workers remove it. The remaining bunches are put into bags coated with insecticides to protect them from being eaten. To keep the insects at bay, the crops are also sprayed, but not by an aeroplane. They use a high-tech chopper, which is more agile. It's controlled by satellite technology, which stops local workers being covered with pesticides in their own homes. These bananas have a radius of three centimeters, and although they're not ripe yet, now is the perfect time to collect them. When the fruit has reached this ideal size, these guys have the job of preparing them for the packing plant. Their protective bags are removed and foam inserts are placed between the bunches. If the fruit have even the tiniest bruises, UK customers leave them on the shelf, so they're protected right from the start. Enormous bunches are loaded onto the pulley system and join a long traffic jam of other fruit heading for the processing plant. Now, you'd need an enormous trolley to buy a bunch of 60 bananas with your weekly shopping. So now they're separated into smaller ones before being sent for a bath. Tough EU laws legislate for bananas' size, shape and even their curve. So the workers must be sure there are no slip-ups with any fruit that aren't up to scratch. Any that fail are thrown onto the waste conveyor, but they aren't discarded. They'll be used to feed local livestock or sent to be processed into baby food. The remaining bananas are then sent off for another bath, which kills off any spiders who may be trying to hitch a ride to a supermarket near you. The fruit is given its trademark branding and boxes are built to store them for their long journey across the Atlantic. This plantation has produced over 270,000 boxes of bananas. They're packed up and sent by the lorry load to the docks. Here, they're put on board ships in specially cooled containers for the journey to Europe. They won't be enjoying any sun on the deck, though. It's an 11-day journey, and being in the sun would ripen them too early. When they're finally unloaded, the bananas are still green. This means they can be stored until the shops need them. They're stacked in sealed ripening rooms. When the stores need them, these rooms will be flooded with ethylene gas. This gas ripens the bananas at a regular, measurable pace, which means the stores know exactly when they are ready for the shelves. So, from the exotic fields of a Costa Rican plantation to the supermarket trolley in the UK, the Brits are certainly bananas about their bananas.